Good morning. Fantastic news today. Adobe have released a Camera Raw and Adobe DNG Converter update. It's a version 8.7 and it supports the Nikon D750 already. Um, I'll just give you a quick run through on how to use it. I'll put the link in the description where you can download the DNG Converter. I'm not going to go into the Camera Raw conversion because that's for Photoshop and this is Lightroom based. So once you've followed the link and downloaded the DNG converter, just run it. It's very simple, you can see it's numbered in 1, 2, 3 and 4. You select the folder of your RAWs, I have a sample selection here. And then you obviously choose the conversion location. I like to have a folder within the original RAW file folder, so it keeps it all concise in the same place. I've just created a folder called DNG inside. And I don't want to convert any image names, as fine as they are. Preferences, just quickly. Something to note, certain versions of Camera Raw, Raw are supported by Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, if you use Lightroom 4 or later, you can use 7.1. But as an example, 6.6 .6 is compatible with Lightroom 3. So depending on your version of Lightroom, just run through and check which one you need. Most people would be on Lightroom 4 or 5 by now, and if you're not on Lightroom 5, I would highly recommend it because it's a fantastic update. 7.1 will be fine. You haven't got to touch these, they're all good, and you don't want to enable this or this, so it's pretty much at the default settings and it's exactly what you need. All you do then is press convert, and you can see that this pops up. This is very quick, this process, depending on the speed of your computer, of course. But there we go, that's done. And so now, there's my RAWs, which you can see, Mac can see fine. You drag those onto Lightroom as you usually would, or just go through the import folder. And there you are, completely compatible with Lightroom, and it only took a few days. So, fantastic news. Thank you Adobe for doing that so quickly.